Define by ID and find uh, all movies. Uh, how about creating a brand new movie? Let's do that. So, um, so here public. Um, actually, no, let's let's first implement the uh, in the DAL. In the DAL, it'll be something like the uh, the the query will be uh, you know, string uh, create or in, uh, yeah create movie uh, will be you know insert insert into movies. Right, and this will be the values. Right here, yes. And uh, so, so let's uh, let's uh, let's let's just keep it simple. Let's just make a bit, just the IMDb and the title. Okay. So the the columns that we're going to be using here are uh, IMDb ID and title. And I'm just going to put some placeholders here. So, you know, IM IMDb ID and comma title. And we're going to replace them with actual values. Okay. Uh, although these will need to be strings, so I'll put the quotations, the necessary quotations. Yes. Very, very error prone, right? So we're going to quickly remove, uh, stop doing using this, and we'll use prepared statement instead. Okay. Um, all right. So, so we have that. So create movie is going to be very much the same thing. We're going to do the connection, all this, and statements, all the way up to here. That's the same, uh, and uh, the same catch. All right, so at the end, actually, no, it doesn't return anything. Uh, so, so I'm going to create the statement, but instead of doing a a select, uh, instead I'm going to do an insert. Right, so I need to do statement, statement dot uh, execute update execute update there it is uh and it's going to be that insert right the the, the create movie where i'm going to replace replace all uh, what am i replacing the title with what with the movie dot title get title and i'm also replacing replace all Wait, can I do that? I can't do that, right? No, not in Java. I thought it was JavaScript. Sorry. Uh, so there we go. So the, we have the uh, create movie. Uh, so I'm going to have string SQL is equal to that. So that that now has the movie title replaced, and I'm now going to replace the SQL again. SQL. I'm going to replace replace all. The uh, the IMDb 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 ID. I'm gonna replace it with the movie that you're passing me. Get IMDb. And then I'm gonna execute the SQL. Yes, I think that's it, right? Uh, all right, let's try it out. Oh, I'm going to. I need to expose this to the outside world, to the controller. So this will be a public uh, void uh, create movie. And um, I'm going to pass in a movie object, movie. And I'm just going to do a DAO and a create movie. I'm not going to return anything because I don't return anything. And I'm going to do a create movie. I'm going to pass in the movie object. Yes? Uh, I need to expose this to the outside world. Uh, typically, as we'll see next week, um, typically when we create new data, right, uh, we um, we use a, a you know to interact with the data model that we're exposing uh, in a network, like where we are, where we're exposing this data model that is in a database. We're exposing it in, in a network, right? And anybody should be able to access. If that, if I deploy this on a on a server, anybody who knows the URL would be able to do a get and retrieve the data. It's publicly available, yes? So whenever we do this, there's, there's some design pattern. Just like a DAO, there's a design pattern for a best practice of how we encapsulate these things. Here, there's also a design pattern. There's a design pattern on the syntax of these URLs. Um, uh, tip, notice that it follows the same naming convention as the database. So it's, it's the name of the table, right? 
Um, also, uh, the naming convention says that um, if you are reading from a database, uh, then you are getting. Right? So we're using HTTP as our network protocol. Uh, so, so since you're reading, uh, it's, you will use the HTTP get. Um, if you are reading a specific record in a database, then you need to provide that primary key as part right after the entity name. Right, so that's what we're doing. That's the naming convention here. So that's the entity that we're reading, right? And then the primary key, and that returns a single object instance. If you don't provide the ID, then that means you want all the records. Right? So you don't, spe you're not specifying which one. So I'll just give all of them, right? Uh, so that same naming convention, uh, um, it's, it's called the RESTful um, style, um, says that when you are creating new data. Uh, you should instead use instead of using the get um, HTTP get uh, you would use post, right? Uh, and you would here we're posting to the same we're we're posting to this entity, uh, meaning we are, we want to insert or we want to create data right into that entity one of those en entities right? There is no ID because it doesn't exist yet, right? Uh, that's that's I'm hoping you tell me what the ID is. Uh, anyway, so so let's uh let's try this out. Let's uh, compile this and run it. Uh, so let's run that. And so one of the challenges that we find immediately is that when we get to the browser, there's no way to generate a post uh, from the browser. Uh, so instead, we're going to use a, a tool such as Postman or any of your favorite uh, networking tools. Um, uh, I'll, I'm going to be using Postman. This allows you to generate posts, puts, deletes, gets, you know, anything, uh, depending on whatever, whatever protocol uh, you want to be using. So I'm going to create a collection for this class. So this will be CS 5200 Fall 2019. And in here, uh, let's start it. So it's at the beginning. Here we go. Uh, let's create a couple of our requests. So let's say um, add a request. And I'll call it uh, create movie. Uh, save it there. Uh, so where is it? It's this one right here. There it is. So this will be a post. Uh, the URL is going to be HTTP. What is it? Uh, it looks going to look just like that, so I'm just going to post it here, I'm copy it. So that that's where I'm sending my post. Um, uh, I need to tell it what am I sending, so it's going to look something like this in the body, in the body of the post that I'm sending over. Uh, it's a text. It's not text. It'll be a JSON. So this is a very common data uh, representation. It used to be XML was very common, uh, you know, more than a decade ago. Uh, it has you know, somewhat fallen out of favor. Um, more common today, JSON is an alternative uh, way to represent data. Uh, so I'm going to use that that representation. Um, uh, let's see, uh, Aliens, Terminator, Titanic. Uh, what else? The Abyss. How do you spell the Abyss? I don't know. I have a thing for James Cameron. Uh, so I'll, uh, I won't have provide the uh, ID. Uh, I'll pass in the uh, the IMDb, whatever, the IBIS. So I don't I don't really need the plot. Uh, so I'm going to send that. Uh, what else do I need to say? Um, I do need to say that the content type is application JSON, which it already is. Um, and on the server side. This is the this JSON that I'm sending over needs to be converted into a Java representation. Okay, so presumably some, there, there should be some magic that converts this string because that's what I'm going to send. I'm sending a string, and the server needs to be able to say, "Oh, it's not just any string, right? It's it's formatted. It's a formatted string. It has a particular format, and the format is JSON." Uh, so so on the server side, I need to convert this string, this JSON representation, into a Java object, right? Uh, so there's uh, there's code for that. I believe it's request body, uh, meaning parse the body from the incoming request and convert it into this movie object. 
um, to its movie object. Uh, and what we'll try to do is convert every single piece of data into the, into the equivalent field. Uh, for this magic to work, for this magic to work, we need to follow a naming convention. The naming convention is that uh, these setters and getters uh, have to be of a particular name, right? And they have to follow a particular pattern for this magic to work. Um, so for instance, uh, the setters all start with set, all the getters start with get, right? Uh, the uh, the fields uh, all start with a capital, right? Uh, and they all map to a a, uh, a lowercase version. Uh, so this set ID maps to an ID lowercase. Uh, this mapped to a, an IMDB, the first I lowercase, but everything else is camel cased. Uh, this title ca maps to a, a title lowercase title. Uh, this maps to a lowercase plot, and this maps to a lowercase poster, right? So if I would send all that data across, that the mapping would work magically, okay? Um, anyway, let's try it out. Let's see if this blows up. Um, uh, just, to, just to see that, 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 to verify that this works, before using my DAO here, I'm just going to echo back the movie that I sent to see if it works. I'm gonna echo it back to you. Uh, you send me a movie, I'll send you the same thing that you sent me. If I if they match, that means that the magic worked. All right. Uh, all right. So let's try that out. Let's compile that. Uh, notice how interesting that. Uh, um, uh, there are many layers, right, where the convergence is happening in the, at different stages, right? There's a conversion between the HT, HTTP layer, right, and the Java world into an object-oriented world. Uh, then there's another layer of converting back that Java representation, right, down to a relational database, right? Uh, and obviously, the relational database does the conversion down into the file system, right? But that's abstracted from, from, from us, right? Um, all right, so let's try this out. So I'm going to post this. Let's see if this blows up. Sending the request. Um, all right, looks like uh, we, we're in business. Uh, so it, it came back with the same data that I sent, uh, knowing that plot poster is null, and the integer takes the default value of zero if I don't provide it. So it looks like we're, we're in business. Uh, so let's go back here, and let's put back our DAO. I'm still going to echo back what you sent me. Um, but let's go into the create movie. In the create movie, uh, we're, we're still doing the insert, right? There's some kind of insert here. Um, we replace, we did the insert. All right, so I think, um, and the only, I noticed that the only thing that we're passing along in the movie is what? It's just the IMDB and the title, which is perfect. So those are the only thing that, uh, that I'm passing across, right, as strings. I don't really need the, the result set, so I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna restart again. Uh, so what I, I was mentioning earlier, right? So we have to become uh, uh, comfortable. In that is very, very common, right? That we're going to have lots of different representations of this data, right? Uh, you know, in the, uh, in, uh, the uh, uh, certainly in the user interface, we'll have uh, its own representation of the data model, right? As the user interface sends all data over to the, to the server, also will have its own representation of the data model. Um, once it makes it to, from the server to a database, it will do another translation. So, so the data is really passing throughout several, uh, several representations. So the abyss, uh, just before I do that, I just want to verify that the abyss doesn't exist in the database. So I have aliens, Titanic, Terminator, and this no name uh, movie, right? So let's, uh, and also here, make sure that it doesn't exist there. So I'm going to select the abyss is not there. Uh, so let me send that post, Let's see if it blows up. So it didn't blow up, so that's that's promising. Let's go to a server, a database server, and oops. Looks like the abyss made it, so the abyss is there. Uh, also, if uh, if we retrieve it here and we replace, right, we see that the abyss indeed made it into the server. Yay, okay. 
Um, all right, so let's take a look at uh, doing the other ones, right? The update, uh, the delete. 